In July, fashion's disposable nature hit the headlines as it emerged Burberry burnt £28.6 million worth of goods last year to protect its brand's exclusivity. It showed fashion as one of the world's largest polluters, textile production producing more greenhouse gases than airlines and shipping combined. High street retailers need to talk about their... Yeah, make everyone more aware. Yeah, because if there were more public stores that said, we have an honest, good way of making clothes, then I would have a tendency to go for them. Two-thirds of millennials are willing to spend more on brands that are sustainable, and some retailers have noticed. Zara and Mango have launched sustainable collections. John Lewis buy back clothes to recycle. And the world's second largest clothes retailer, H&M, have been selling out their ethically sourced range since 2011. You are effectively a fast fashion retailer. We produce in volume, absolutely. Right, a volume retailer. How can we create volume sustainable fashion using the most sustainable fabrics that we can do the biggest amount of recycled fabrics that we can do and then of course ensuring that the workers who actually make our garments are treated in a fair and equal way this one's made from a new fabric that we experimented with this year called Echonile, which is recycled nylon waste and fishing nets. Whoa! So it's, they're collected off the ocean shore and then melted down and made into this beautiful lace. We have like great sportswear as well. This is made from 100% recycled polyester. So H&M used the equivalent of 100 million PET bottles last year in recycled polyester to make new clothes. And rather ingeniously, they have recycling bins in store. So you can provide raw materials that could be used to make your next purchase. These, for example, are a pair of jeans that were made using uh, unwanted old customer clothes that we collected through this service. What percentage now of your business would you say are sustainable garments? 35%. Wow. Take me through to when you think you'll be 100%. 2030. Megan Barton Hansen, one of this year's Love Island stars, has agreed to meet me for the lowdown. What fascinated me, misguided, delivered all the clothes, all the fashion to your set, mm -hmm. you all wore it, and on the back of that, they sold thousands and thousands and thousands of units. Being part of it, you don't realise how big the fashion is. But it's mad to think that from just us wearing an outfit once, it can sell out. How would you choose which clothes you wear? The original lineup, they walked into a room and they had rows and rows of clothes, so then it was up to them to pick out what they wanted. But and you were an original lineup? No, no, no. I come in later. Oh, I see. So, then... so what were you left with? A few more pair of knickers <laughs> and a pair of dodgy jeans? <laughs> Literally. Yes. They gave us a bag of stuff and you'd like run and get what you want. Uh -oh. Did you know that there was an app and you'd see what's being worn and then order it online there and then? No way. Yeah. And there we have Megan oh, and Wes. Me. Look, you're in a little snog, you're in a little <laughs> bikini there. And if they like your bikini, they order them. Amazing. Items like Megan's crochet jumper or Danny Dyer's dress help push their total sales up by a whopping 9,000%. Literally after the show had aired that night, I went on the website and it had already sold out while the show was going on. But the lasting impact has been on thongs, which are back with nearly a three-quarter sales increase seen by John Lewis. I don't like a G-string. But oh. even on a nice peachy balm. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's what I don't like. <laughs> Did you get a cut from Misguided that they give you a percentage of sales? No. <laughs> would have loved that. Yeah, the maybe the should... items I sold out, I would have been a millionaire. <laughs> <laughs> What Megan does have millions of is Instagram followers, 1.8 million to be precise, and that may have helped her get a new gig as brand ambassador for Pretty Little Thing.